So as I usually do, I want to give you my pre-debate analysis. The next debate for December and the final debate of 2019, by the way, will be hosted by Politico and PBS NewsHour. It starts at 5 p.m. PST, and it will be three hours long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, look, e even though that's going to be grueling, it's going to be incredibly tiring. Um, I just watching it is tiring. I can't imagine actually participating in it. I will say that since there are only seven people participating, um, perhaps we have a chance at seeing some more substantive discussions. Who knows, though? Um, so let's talk about who will be participating. At this debate, the individuals who qualified include Joe Biden, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, Amy Klobuchar, Pete Buttigieg, Tom Steyer, and Andrew Yang. Now, right off the bat, as I usually do, I want to point out that the fact that a millionaire is participating because he was able to effectively buy his way into this debate is disgusting, and we should never allow that to be a fact that's lost on us. We always have to acknowledge that billionaires, one, should not exist, and two, they certainly should not be able to use their wealth to buy democracy, to buy, you know, access to political power. That's absolutely morally reprehensible. So that aside, when it comes to what I'm expecting and really what the candidates need to do in order to be successful, I'm going to start with Bernie Sanders because going into this debate, he is surging and he is inching closer towards frontrunner status. He's not officially the frontrunner, but what he essentially has to do is defend that frontrunner status. Now, Bernie Sanders, what I usually instruct him to do is go on the offensive, right? Attack your opponents, call them out, be aggressive, and he never actually does that. Nonetheless, I still think that he performs uh pretty well at these debates this time he doesn't have to be that aggressive although i will still say that if he were to throw in a couple of shots if he were to cite you know pete Buttigieg's health industry donors and the people who are bankrolling joe biden from the fossil fuel industry doing these fundraisers for him after he took the no fossil fuel pledge if bernie pointed that out i think it would land with the public and make him really strong. It would make him look like he's strong and he's ready to lead and he's ready to take on Donald Trump. Because part of the reason why I want him to be more aggressive isn't just so he can win this nomination, but I need him and I want him to communicate to people who are watching, who are just more casual observers, that he is strong enough. He does have the demeanor and personality to take on Donald Trump in head-to-head -head debates. Um, but regardless, I think he's a great debater and if he doesn't actually be aggressive like I want him to, it's not going to be that big of a deal because all he really has to do going into this debate is maintain. He's on a really great track. He's surging. He's just got to make sure that he comes away from this debate relatively unscathed and, you know, he can still continue on that path towards success. When it comes to Pete Buttigieg, he's actually got to have a pretty good performance because I was expecting him to have to defend his frontrunner st status at that last debate. And a lot of people, aside from Tulsi Gabbard, on that stage gave him a pass, which I don't think is right. Now, regardless, he's still starting to slip in the polls. He lost his lead in New Hampshire. Bernie surpassed him. And he's starting to now slip in Iowa. Bernie is starting to catch him. So he has to defend his position as one of the frontrunners and hope that he doesn't fall into mid-tier or bottom tier. Um, so he has to have a good performance. Now, what that entails, I'm not necessarily sure. Um, it can help him a lot if he just isn't as smug as he usually is. I think that his personality, generally speaking, is off-putting because he is very elitist, right? He always talks with this pretentious demeanor as if he's better than everyone else and, you know, the agenda of Bernie Sanders and even Elizabeth Warren is just, it's so naive and he has the best, you know, plans for healthcare and whatnot. Even if he just, like, tries to come across as more personable, I think that that could potentially help him. Not that I focus too much on personality politics, but, I mean, this individual has such an annoying personality that I feel like he's going to turn off people if he doesn't show that he is human and, you know, um, people think he's a robot. He acts like a robot. So, aside from that, I, I think that being aggressive wouldn't necessarily help him. I just think he needs to come prepared to defend himself and know how to rebut certain criticisms. Elizabeth Warren, she's falling. She needs a good performance. Um, it's not about maintaining for her like it is for Pete Buttigieg and Bernie Sanders. She needs to make up a lot of ground that she lost. Now, she's still one of the frontrunners. However, 
She's got to have a good performance. She needs to be aggressive. And she shouldn't attack Bernie. Strategically, I think that that would be a mistake if she still wants to appeal to progressives, which she's losing us. So she can't attack Bernie, um, but she needs to attack the centrists, namely Joe Biden. When it comes to Joe Biden, I expect another per poor performance. I don't think he's really performed well at any of these debates thus far. I think his performance has gradually increased at some debates but then fell back down in others because he gets attacked and isn't able to um you know take those attacks they usually end up hurting him in that particular debate so i think that with him he needs to have a good performance i don't suspect that he will amy klobuchar i don't know what to say about amy klobuchar she has been given a lot of time to speak considering her place in the polls and it's not helping her she's not going up i think that she needs to take a hint that americans just aren't into her what she can do to kind of improve her standing in the primary i honestly don't really know i think that if she actually takes the time to explain her policy positions rather than just like dogging progressive positions maybe that will help her um being aggressive hasn't worked for her criticizing the left hasn't worked for her so i think that she should switch it up Will it help her even if she does take my advice? I don't know. I think that she's the least inspiring candidate perhaps ever. Not uh, not great. When it comes to Tom Steyer, he's kind of hanging on for dear life. I don't know that he's going to be able to qualify for the January debate. So for him, this is about making sure he qualifies. So he just has to be noticed during this debate because he is hanging on for dear life. And quite frankly, I hope he has a poor performance because fuck anyone who thinks that they can buy their way onto the debate stage. If I wanted to run for president, I wouldn't have the money to buy my way onto that debate stage. Neither would you. So he shouldn't be allowed that either. It's unfair and it's antithetical to democracy. When it comes to Andrew Yang... Kind of the same advice. Um, he's kind of hanging on and he needs to make sure that he has a standout performance. Like, I don't think he has to win this, but he needs to stand out enough to make sure he gets enough momentum and donations to qualify for that January debate because he is hanging on for dear life as well, I think. Um, although it's it's not as crucial for him, I think he has a good chance at qualifying for that debate. Because he kind of just, you know, he, he keeps on improving his performances at each of these debates. Um, overall, he's climbing gradually in the polls. But if he truly wants to move away from that mid-tier range and move into the frontrunner category, top-tier category, he's got to have a really, really standout performance. Um, if he can do that, then it could potentially help him. But basically, I think that mostly, if I'm Andrew Yang, I'm focusing on just having a really solid performance, you know, vocalizing my positions on policy, trying to talk as much as humanly possible, just so people notice me, just so I can get donations to be in that next debate. And having said all of that, I have pretty much covered uh, everyone. Um, I will be rooting for Bernie Sanders, of course. I will say that for the individuals who weren't able to qualify, like Tulsi Gabbard, even if I don't support her, the fact that a billionaire qualified but she didn't is absolutely disgusting. The fact that someone like Marianne Williamson wasn't able to qualify but a billionaire could buy his way onto that stage, it's disgusting. It's morally reprehensible and it really shows how we've fallen as you know a country and how our democracy is being eroded by capital now i know that you guys are probably getting irritated because i beat you over the head with the same message every single time billionaires should not be allowed to buy elections um but it's so important like i genuinely don't want people to start getting apathetic about the presence of billionaires we need to be cognizant of the fact that this person bought his way onto the debate stage and we can't get comfortable with that we've already gotten too comfortable with money and politics and we can't get comfortable to billionaires just buying their way into positions of power it's not acceptable it happened with trump's administration betsy devos donated to him and then she got a job it happened with obama individuals donated to him and then they got jobs i mean tom wheeler who uh donated to obama i think he bundled like eight hundred thousand, ended up becoming fcc chairman this has to stop we can't get any more comfortable with money in politics than we already are which is why i always emphasize the fact that we should not allow billionaires to buy their way onto elections regardless one did and another is trying to um and yeah i'll leave that there this will certainly be um a really disappointing debate i am hoping for substance i'm hoping for at least semi-competent moderation but my expectations are very, very low. So since my expectations are here, maybe they'll actually surprise me. Who knows? But uh, we'll see. And you can definitely look forward to my post-debate breakdown.